hello fans welcome to my video um now this is just uh um a first insight into the journal this is the um paper craft um part um let's move that forward so yeah so i would um i'm just going to showcase it so so yeah so basically i put one of my favorite scenes at the front which is basically um a cottage you know um in woodlands or a welsh cottage in the hills that's always one of my favorite scenes uh to see um that's the um drawer metal drawer now i use this really um good glue it's um wilco's pa pva adhesive and sealant now that now basically that glue can stick anything and that glue um stuck the metal so i am running a bit low on that so i will be getting some more of that but if you want a glue that sticks anything guys then that's you that's your man basically and um, you can if you live in britain you can get it from wilkinson's it's a pva and adhesive sealant so you know it can pretty like i said it can pretty much glue anything um now i bought i got a little i bought these yesterday and um, these are buttons and i just think they're gorgeous white and blue fabric buttons and i picked them up for two pounds and i love the jar yesterday we went in cowbridge which is in the uk quite close to us in south wales it's a lovely little town and they do this nice vintage antique shop so i got them for two pound i have used them i will um in this journal and I'm going to backtrack a bit because this you've already seen. Um, so these were patterns, uh, previous drawings. Um, so this is where the new part starts. Um, so as you can see, so again, I put more of those beautiful rugged hills in. Um, I put a lovely beach scene because uh, I got a lot of fond memories of the West Coast and West Wales, Newquay. Um yeah a lot of enjoyable times um and this i put my own quotes um so a slower pace of life something i pray we never lose and it's true because you know we live in such a fast-paced world and you just see more and more of this beautiful land you know being built on and you know the greenery and and yeah you know i i really do pray that some of that green greenery can still stay that you know that we're we're you know that we're all not going to become one giant giant housing estate, and um, that would be so sad. You know, especially after especially growing up with the green green grass of home, as Tom as uh, Tom Jones put it of Wales, and yeah. So you know, I honestly do pray pray that doesn't happen. That we pray that you know we can keep that. Um, so this is another page. This is a teddy bear page. I love this. Um, I've incorporated another cottage into this because it's like she's walking from the church uh, down the country lane, you know, with the cottage. So they do, they do, you know, they are, uh, you know, they do and complement each other. Um, now, th this, is, um, this is a fact. The first Austrian teddy bears were made around 1905. They were often dressed in typical touraline costumes. This modern version shows a bear wearing tradi traditional dress, stepping out to enjoy the um, Tyrolean countryside. Sorry if I like if I've murdered that um, the saying of it. <laughs> uh, now this is a lovely page. This is um, it's kind of this is a bit that's a bit of a um little ridge there if you like so you could actually put papers underneath there because that would keep them secure um now these are blue china so the blue china went beautiful with the pink and blue bird um paper um so we open it up because this is a pocket this is almost like a mini folder pocket in itself and um, there's a lovely picture of a rocking chair there um those are trademarks to look on blue china you know which which you know are valuable um, so that's a lovely page. It's one of my favourite pages so far, actually. Um, um, now, Henry the Hiker. I thought this was such a cute page. I couldn't resist not putting this in. Um, yeah, so again, um, 
I think with this teddy bear magazine, you would collect certain teddy bears. It was a collection. Um, now, this was really sweet. Um, on Sundays, Father Bear gets up early to take the young ones for a walk in the woods. All of them, even Baby Bear, picks some flowers for their mother. I mean, it's just so adorable. And and there's another one of my quotes here. My childhood consisted a lot, a lot, a lot playing in my parents' woodlands was so much fun. And it was. I mean, I was lucky enough to grow up in a small holding, so we would build dens. And again, it's just that innocence, it's that playfulness, you know, and I think it's something that even as adults, I don't think we should ever lose because, you know, it, it is nice to still have that inner child in us. Um, this is bit, this was more, this is basically just collaging, really. This is more teddy bear collaging. Um, as the whole teddy bear. Collect. So see, these are, those are the bears that you can collect. You could have collected with this magazine. You can see, I think, Henry the Hiker there. It's so funny. He's literally holding on to a shelf. Um, now, these are the... Now, this is the blue china um, that I cut out. Again, cut out some lovely Japanese paper. Um, now, that there is actually real tea because we we actually um, are using, you know, real, like, for example, dandelion tea... And all those sorts of teas where you actually, you know, the proper tea ceremony, as it were. So we, we've started doing that. Um, so so basically, I put them on some kitchen paper just, you know, so they would dry. And then I put some a lot of, you know, good line of glue and then just sprinkled them on and let it dry. So it was quite, you know, I thought that was quite a nice touch. And so this is another, um, my quote, patterns always inspire me, either of nature or antiques, the pattern of life. So yeah, which is true, you know, a lot of um, patterns on things do inspire me, whether they're antique or just patterns in general that, you know, you see at the win on the window shop. So that really, you know, that generally does inspire me. And when I mean the pattern of life, you know, so we, you know, we have a journey in life. And, and, you know, it can look like a different pattern, you know, it's, it's uh, so that's a concept of that. Um, and now th this, I made some belly bands here. Um, uh, so I made a belly, uh, I made a Rupert Bear belly band. Um, so those are, that's a paper underneath. Um, I got a rocking chair there. I made this, um, poc um, uh, journal card here um now this basically says looking at other resources for inspiration is a good idea i.e magazines books and the internet so which is true i get a lot of resource from there um and this is another one this is another belly band i firstly cut some paint pots which i do like that and i put some lace on the side of the pages as well a nice white lace um, it's not vintage or old, but I still still thought it looked pretty. And then the last, well, last two pages. Now, I've got a bit of a tip. If you want to glue fabric onto your journal, it's best to basically, you know, I used um, two sets, uh, stri strips of paper. And then I glued the fabric straight on top. Um, now the reason I've done that now I'm gonna know I'm gonna have to take a lot more pages out because it's already looking thick and I'm I'm not even caught caught away so I know a uh, but it's a good it's a good I it's a good thing if you want to take if if you just want to use the fabric but not the page um it's a good tip there you know basically by doing it by strips of paper instead of sticking it on a whole page um. We have time. That that's that's the button, one of the buttons, and I I think it is a lovely touch. Those buttons. Um, now this and another um quote is learn from others and support each other in our crafting journey. As we all started off as beginners, which is true. You know, we did all start off like you know we weren't born experts. You know, we had to learn, and and it's and learning from others where you pick up hints and tips. Um, for example. For example, like, you know, I follow Catherine Brown, I follow Tatty Treasures, I follow Denise at Junk Journals, 
and Rita Jensen, you know, and, and you know, in, in all fairness, you know, not only do I enjoy their videos, but you do learn something and say there's thousands of others out there. So, yeah, so, you know, don't, don't, you know, don't miss that opportunity, guys, you know, and, and it's true, you know, it is good to support each other because we're all in the same boat. We all love our craft and we're all trying to, I mean, some of us may be trying to earn a living from it or some of us may be doing it for pure joy, but it's still nice to do that. And that's a little um, card there, which was a part of the letter from Catherine. So I thought that was a sweet little touch. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, as I said, that's the first part of it. Um, yeah, so obviously, you know, as I get, I'm going to get a lot more into the fabric now because the paper craft part is really done, more or less done, really. So, yeah, so I would just like to thank you guys and thank you for watching. Bye.